Yo, what is up, Sippy Cups, man? It's your boy Jake here, back with another video. As you guys can see today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to overclock your controller, man, here on PC. Now, obviously, this is not something that you could do on console. Now, you guys know by default, when you're playing with a controller on a PC, there's a five millisecond response time. But when you go ahead and overclock your controller, which I'm gonna teach you guys how to do today, it makes it to where it's only one millisecond. Therefore, you can compete with all the other people who have their controller overclocked or, you know, are playing on keyboard and mouse. And a lot of people think, man, well, you guys already have aim assist, so why do you need the same response time as us? And you know what? Screw you guys. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is click that second link, this one right here, the H-I-D-U-S-B-F.zip one here. And I actually have this downloaded already, so it might look a little different for you guys, but what you're gonna wanna do is click the three buttons over here and click download, you know, where you guys download it or how and what it looks like when you download it. You know, that's totally up to you guys. But it should pop up as like a little file on your taskbar. All right, and then once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open up the file. It should have a little, you know, file here saying driver, open that. And then in there, this is where you go ahead and set up the overclocking process i don't know all right we're gonna go ahead open it up here and then you're gonna want to find your input device so automatically it's set to like just the mice or whatever but you're gonna go ahead and do all and then this one right here obviously says xbox controller that's gonna be it right there and then if you guys have like a ps5 or 4 controller it should come up as like usb input device to easily you know find your input device what i'm gonna do here is unplug Oops, see, and it goes away and then plug back in the controller here. And then obviously, you know, if you have an Xbox controller, you know, it's automatically going to say Xbox controller. But, you know, if you do have a PS5 or PS4 one, you know, it's probably going to say some like USB input device. But no matter what, it should say like HID device right there, um, you know, for either either one. All right, guys, and this is where things get crazy. So follow me step by step here. But go ahead and click on, you know, whatever your controller one is there and hit install service. Then you're going to want to go over to this where it says default. So drop down menu. You're going to want to click 1000 and then you hit install service once again. And then we're going to go ahead and hit filter on device here. And once again, we're going to hit install service. All right, guys. And this is the moment of truth. Once you have done that, go ahead and unplug your controller and plug it back in. Bang. And there we go. As you guys can see in the middle there, it says I just have a one millisecond response time with my controller. All right. And the deed is done. Finalized. We have now overclocked our controller. You do not need to hit anything else. There's no confirmation or anything like that. Just go ahead, exit out of everything there. And, you know, it's done. You know, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people think, you know, being on a controller is already cringe enough. You know, why are you overclocking it it's because we're playing call of duty ranks play buddy and you know if you want to rank up this is gonna you know unfortunately this is what you got to do at least of course you don't have to overclock your controller to be like a top rank in the game but you know i would definitely suggest it but you know if you guys did enjoy today's video please leave a like and subscribe you know and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out